So, in the meantime, finish out the year with this. So, get a handle. All I'm going to do is lift it from here straight on to there. It's not too bad. I can still do it, but like I said, taking 50 pounds off of uh, off the boat weight would be great. Welcome back to Fishing with Vance. Today's video, guys, I'm going to step through my entire process of uh, when I decide I'm going fishing. Um, this is going to be, a, as they say, soup to nuts, beginning all the way to end. Starting out of getting the boat, getting it loaded, my equipment, and then when I get to the lake, launching the boat, the process of doing all that, and then the reverse when I come off the water getting the boat off the water, getting it back on the trailer, getting it back home, and the process of putting it all away, and what my whole process is. I've been getting a lot of questions about it on the on my channel, about uh, various questions about uh, the Pelican Bass Rate of the trailer, uh, the battery, uh, the table, all those things, which is great. I love the questions. So today I thought I'd show the whole process end to end. So I'm going fishing today, so I'll step through this. Some of the stuff I'll speed up because you don't want to watch me ratchet strapping but I'll talk through it and then uh, but this is it on the Pelican Bass Rider today start to finish I've decided I'm going fishing it's about uh, it's nine o'clock in the morning and let's uh, let's start the process so here we go step one I already had the truck I put in place the night before so that I don't have to back it up my driveway she's ready to go you'll uh, the old 04 Tacoma, love that thing. All right, next part of the process, I get my rods ready the night before of which ones I'm gonna take. And in this case, it looks like I can't decide, so I'm taking everything. So, and I'm filming this by myself, so I'll try not to move my head too much. But I've got, uh, it's a fall day, I'm taking all kind of movement. Um, but I'm taking everything. I got flukes, worms, you name it. So I get these poles ready the night before, so then I put them in. Put them back here. Okay, that's done. So I'm fishing by myself today. So only need one chair. The battery's still on the charger, and I'll show you that obviously when I get back home. But obviously, I take it off the charger. I know it charged all night, so I'm good to go. Take it off. All right. Next step, go ahead, ratchet strap it down. I leave the ratchet straps in place um, from the last time I fished. So all I have to do is, I don't know if you can see that, hopefully you can, is ratchet strap it to, to my caravan trailer. Alright, in the boat, an oar, my life jackets are in the car, in the back of the truck, got a net that stays in there, ropes are in there, last step, here, use my boat buckles, these things are awesome, if you haven't seen the video of that, go back and look at it in my playlist, these things are great if you have a trailer. Didn't have those when I had my bass boat, but that's it. Hook those up. Next, I'm going to, I don't know how much as you can see, but I can just easily one hand bring this thing up. Put it on the trailer. 
or put her on the hitch. Throw my lock on so that they don't come off. That's it. Right, give it one last little check. Alright. I'm a tackle bag. I took out stuff I knew I wasn't going to throw. Tackle bag's ready to go. In the taco she goes. All right, that's it. Put my boots on. Drive to the lake. See you at the lake. All right, guys. Here we are at the lake, and uh, doesn't take long. It only takes me a little while to get to the lake. So here we are. Looks like a little bit of a windy day here in the fall. Beautiful day though. It's going to get windier, but that's okay. Um, see what happens but we're at the lake so here's the process of the lake first thing I do obviously take off the ratchet straps Get done do the boat buckles. All right. <clears throat> Next thing I do here is just pull it off gently. The only thing to watch out for here is, as you guys know, that have pelicans. If you're pulling it off a trailer or even the back of the truck. You gotta watch out for these guys that these plugs in the front of the pontoons if you pull that right off there's a can't just all the way off it is a chance that those will catch and cut pop off pop off or break even um, I've actually done that and had to replace them so be careful with that so I just slide her down to about right here not all the way off, like I said, so that it doesn't catch those the plugs. And then gently slide her down. It's nice and light, so good to go. Now when I get to this point, some of you guys might not have a table, but the table's life-changing. For me, anyway. Okay. Next step is I get my net and uh, go ahead and secure this pup down until I get out there. All right. The reason I put that oar there like that is I'm going to use that to push off when I get the boat in the water. You'll see that in a second. Next step, put the poles in.
Next up, I put my phone in my bag. Reason being, I flipped this thing over one time and the phone was out on the table. And it's now on the bottom of the lake. But when I flipped it over, my tackle bag did not sink, it floated long enough for me to grab it, so that's why I keep the phone in there. <clears throat> trolling motor, keep the trolling motor back here, fits perfectly. size 44 I think I can't remember pretty sure moves this boat around plenty good enough when you're putting it on make sure you keep it this square to here get it good and tight Hook up the Anderson connector. Best thing ever. You're good to go. Partner Highlight come up with that. It's one of the best mods we ever did. Batteries in the middle, Anderson's out the end. And that's how she works. Beautiful. All right. Boat's ready to go. I'll bring the truck up and I'll be back. Truck's in the park, up in the parking area. Let's launch the boat. So at this point, it's just me, like I said. Have my net tied down or back here ready to go and then my seat up a little bit so i have lots of room boat's pretty light so i'm just going to push it off i'll shove it out all the way it'll go out to sea well, just leave a corner like that enough that it's stable when you get on I use this as uh, definitely as my oar. As uh, my oar, I use it as almost like a cane for stability for us old guys. So then, that's it. And then from here, it's just a simple shove, and you're rolling. Attach my oar with my tie down. Drop your motor, and that's it, we're fishing. All right, that's it guys, for this part. When I come back in, I'll show you the reverse process all the way back to my house, and what I do when I get home. All right guys, I'm done fishing for the day, so I'll show you my going in process. The only thing I do is I get everything ready. It's a windy day, uh, but I'll be all right. I get everything packed up before I head in and I bring everything as much weight to this side of the boat as possible so that the front end sits up because I'm just gonna gradually ease this guy up onto the bank and go from there. So out put the motor up quickly and you're good now this part at this point then it's sort of the reverse I'm gonna shove everything to the front again I like to use my oar as a little bit of a as a, a little bit of a cane Again, I'm not, the, I'm not the smallest guy in the world, but I'm still pretty nimble. <laughs> At least in my mind, I am. All right. So then, should be okay to stand up because I got enough boat on the 
on the uh, ground. Next thing I like to do is I'll turn around and put this. I will put my bag on the chair like that. All right. Doesn't look like we're gonna float away, so I should be okay to set this guy down. All right. Now this is the important part. That's why I keep two. Two ropes out the front. Hopefully you can see all this. And what you do, and I'm crossed. What you do is you throw them all the way up there. There's there's now this is a technique when there is no there's no dock to tie up to. So that's it. I got the two ropes out there because if I go to step off this boat, it's liable to go that way out the sea on me and I've got the ropes, plenty of time for me to grab them before the boat gets too far away from me. Now, I've got the table, I don't know if you can see that, but I've got my handles, and I'm just gonna walk right off the front of the boat. Poles in hand, table in hand, and I'm off. Now again, the ropes are there so that if, even on a windy day, if I, pushed off that boat by getting off of it it hasn't floated out the sea on me <laughs> which I have done so this this process is uh, I'm doing it several several times all right so from here I don't like to load it load the boat here at this part it's a little better if I move it down so I've got ropes in hand, and rather than scrape it anymore on the bottom, I'm going to bring her up the bank in the, uh, like shoving her out, and then get her out far enough. Do it again. There we go. Just kind of guiding her down the shore. a little further down this is good right here again based on past experiences I can just gently there's no weight in that boat right now so it's it's not hurting the bottom at least too much and that's it all right throw the ropes back in and I will go up get my truck It's gonna get a ride up there, so I'll put them down. I'll go get my truck, bring it around, load it in. I'll be right back. Before I go get my truck, I'm gonna go ahead and take my motor off. When you disconnect these Andersons, you just kind of wiggle them back and forth. It's not something you want to definitely not pull there. I'm gonna take this motor off because. The lighter the boat is, obviously the easier it is for me to lift it up into the into the caravan trailer. So, so leave this guy right here until I get back and we'll put it in my truck. I'll get my truck, I'll be right back. Alright, I backed the truck down and uh Pretty good job this time. Just back the caravan right on down to the, the uh, boat. We'll lift her on in. Before I lift it in, I'll go ahead and put my motor away. Fits back there just perfect. All right, lift it in. So, next year, big upgrade will be new battery. I'm gonna break down and get the lithium battery that's 50 pounds lighter, which that will help this process by taking 50 pounds off the boat. So, 
In the meantime, finish out the year with this. So get a handle. All I'm going to do is lift it from here straight on to there. It's not too bad. I can still do it, but like I said, taking 50 pounds off of uh, off the boat weight would be great. All right. So then from here, I'm going to just lift it up from here, slide it up. And you don't have to worry about it getting sideways. It can go up like that, and that's fine. Because it's a simple adjustment when you get up here. Simple adjustment. And that's it. And put your boat buckle on. And there she's on. Now, next part of the process, I slide this seat up to the front. Go ahead and lock her down. And then I'll start the ratchet strapping. Before I load all that stuff, I'm gonna ratchet strap these two. It's easier to get this ratchet strap when there's nothing else on it. And I've showed this before, how this holds this battery down. I'll run it right through there and ratchet strap. Let me get those and I'll be right back. Like I said, with this ratchet strap, nobody's with me, so I just kind of toss it over there. The key there is you want it to be flat in that little channel that I have. I'll straighten it out when I get over there. I usually just lay it like that until I get it hooked. So you just come over here. The key on these ratchet straps always is to kind of keep them flat. It is a windy day. There we go. Leave it like that. Same thing with this guy. Like that. I'll do the same thing with the table and the back chair. I'll be back in a minute. Next up, put the poles back. Next up, table. Alright, there it is. She's loaded up. Give it one more check. Boat buckles are on. All my stuff's picked up. Give these one more check. Make sure they didn't come loose. And that's it. We're rolling tide. Alright, see you back at the house. All right, guys, made it home all right from the lake. So I'll show you the final steps here. It's pretty straightforward. First thing I'm gonna do is uh, put my poles back on the wall. So you don't need to see me do that, but I'm gonna take these and put them back on the wall. Those are put away. Sorry for the road noise. I got some, uh, got some construction going on out front, new road. Anyway, all right. Next part of the process, unlock it, unplug it, and then I leave it strapped down for this part, 
can't lift it off and this thing is light and on my paved driveway I just wheel her right in and in she goes back to Vance's garage usually take these off so that <coughs> excuse me take those off since there's no and there's no pressure on the handles while I'm not fishing. Same thing here. Get those off. So it's not putting pressure on the caravan the whole time. And leave it like that. Last part of the process, grab my charger. I used it pretty, pretty good today. It was windy so I had to drive a lot. This is the beauty of this battery stand right here. Let's just plug in. Come back over here. Plug it in. Turn it on. And you're rolling. And there we go. Let's see how much we use today. Hmm, 10%. All right, guys, that's the process. That's pretty much it. Come back out here and get my keys. That's the process. Hope you found this video informative. And uh, I'm just covering up the connector for the wires. Hope you found this video informative. That's my process, end to end. Uh, I forgot this mention this morning. From the time I decide I'm going fishing to the time I throw my first cast, it's one hour process. Coming home, I don't time it because I usually take my girl's sweet time. That's it. There's the Raider back home. Good fishing trip today. You know, caught about a dozen or so. It was a little windy. So I had fun. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe and uh, comment on how you would either one, change my process or thoughts you might have on how to improve it or uh, how do you do yours? You know, is your process close to this? You have a trailer, do you don't? There's you guys that have pelicans, or it doesn't matter, bass hunter, whatever. There it is. Boat's back. I'm back. Thanks for joining me. See you next time on fishingwithvance.com.